What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we have another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leak, rumor, and riddle update to share with everyone here today. And these are really interesting, so I'm super excited to go through these. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for helping me hit 7,000 subscribers. That's totally awesome. Really appreciate it. So let's just dive right in to the very first one here. And we're going to talk about this leaked image of a potential Pokemon. I was seeing this over on the Twitter timeline, and we have to discuss this. We have to discuss what is going on with Poodle here. Do you think Poodle is fake? Do you think Poodle is real? I'm always going to lean towards the side of this is fake. And I think there is a lot of evidence for this Pokemon actually being fake. But I do just want to say... I, even though I think it's fake, I wish this Pokemon was real because I think it's really adorable. I love the idea. Sort of reminds me of a particular Digimon. I'm blanking on the name right now, but I do like the design of this Pokemon a lot. But there is a lot going on here that makes me feel like it is fan made to a degree. And my general gist on this is I'm looking at the image here, right? And it's really blurry in general. And whenever I see a blurry image, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I'm already super suspect about it. Most leaks aren't blurry like this. I've seen plenty of leaks and legit leaks are, don't need to be blurry. They're just truthful in itself. Also, the textures are very low. And if you know about game development, they're not going to make low poly textures of Pokemon at first. They're always going to start with the highest possible textures. It doesn't make any sense to start with low possible and then increase it. Just have to put that out there because I saw some comments and I'm like, that's not how game dev works, guys. Like, come on. But my big thing against this is the rocks and the brick here is actually incredibly high textured, which is really strange because the texturing does not match the level of detail we're seeing on the Pokemon itself. And looking at this image here, we can sort of look at what we've seen in the trailer already. And you can see how the sand and the rock, how they're connected is very different. The color is different as well. That's another thing. The rock is off. The sand is off. Another big thing that really gives it away is the UI difference. You can see that Lechonk's health bar here has an actual outline to it as well. And you can see that the spacing between the level and the gender is different here. It's a lot closer together in the trailer, but here it's a lot further apart. So it doesn't really make any sense. And another comparison between the texture and sand down here where you can pretty much see like, yeah, this looks like someone looked at the trailer and tried to make a fake Pokemon. And I think they did a great job at it, but I think we can firmly confirm that Poodle is uh, definitely a fake Pokemon. Now, Riddler Koo tweeted this out earlier today, and this image is incredibly interesting. And if you don't know what's happening in this image, to describe it, there's a man holding a metal ball that's been painted over with some Japanese text. So we're gonna break down all of those parts right here. To give context to the image, Pretty much, this is a screenshot from a very popular anime and visual novel series called Steins Gate. If you haven't watched the Steins Gate anime, highly recommend doing it just in general. Fantastic story. You won't regret it. It's one of my favorites of all time. So the plot of Steins Gate is pretty much about time travel. The main character here is a mad scientist, and he's trying to make time travel actually happen. And it's about traveling to different like timelines and universes. Sort of similar to what we've been talking about in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet about maybe time travel to the past and the future, maybe a possibility of different timelines. We don't know, but there's already been hints to past and future for Scarlet and Violet. Now, when we look at this ball, it sort of does remind me of an electrode because we have the red on the bottom. So maybe this ball is representing a future electrode, maybe a time traveling electrode. Because when we traveled back into the past in Legends Arceus, we found Hisuian Electrode. So maybe when we go into the future, we can get a future Scarlet and Violet version of Electrode. And I'm thinking that could be Electric and Steel. That's one possibility. That's very interesting. I don't know that we'll do that because that means we would only get new forms of the Pokemon we just got forms of. I don't think that is going to happen. But I do think it's a very interesting possibility. And maybe Electrode could get one. Who knows? But... I like the idea. I just don't think, you know, it will necessarily happen. Now, here's the original image, right, from Stein's Gate. And you see that the ball is very reflective. It's definitely a chrome ball. And it looks like it's a futuristic ball, too. So maybe this is going to be a brand new type of Pokeball, similar to Beast Balls in Sun and Moon, where we're going to be catching special Pokemon. Maybe this will be referring to the legendaries or something like that. 
And when we look at the trailer, the most recent Pokemon trailer where they showed off the legendary Pokemon, we saw at the end there was a teaser that a Pokeball was spinning through this crystal area very slowly. Well, it had a chrome effect on that Pokeball in the trailer. And when you overlay these two balls together, you can sort of see how maybe this is the Pokeball that you will need to use in this particular crystal dimension. Maybe a dimension where all time has stopped. We've talked about this in previous videos, but I think it's very interesting that the ball is very reflective and chrome-like, similar to the Pokeball that we saw at the end of that trailer. So that's another thing to consider. And translating the text on the image, it says Spirit Away of Centro and Seni Watori, right? So Spirit Away is very important. We can ignore the Centro part because he's just talking, you know, smack about Centro here, right? Spirit Away is very important because, yes, this is Stein's Gate, but Spirit Away is also another incredibly famous anime movie from Studio Ghibli, right? If you don't know what it is, here is the art, the box art of Spirit Away. And looking at the Japanese text, some of the text is very similar. And I mean, because it says Spirit Away, it's the same type of kanji that is being used here, right? So Spirit Away is about a girl who is going to different worlds and experiencing this, right? It's not necessarily time travel, but she is going to different worlds. So... We're, I mean, hey, that's two hints on two animes about going to different worlds, and we're already thinking about past and future. So I think it's all very much and connected. I don't think who would have just put the text out of nowhere. I mean, I think the only thing that doesn't matter is the text about censure. I think everything else is very relevant to solving this riddle. Now, looking back at the riddle, we can see the main character holding up a metal ball. And another theory we can stem from this is this metal ball is called an Upa in the Steinscape universe, which is a rare gotcha item. And it's a metal ball, right? So Upa not only means metal ball in this case, but it also means in Pokemon, Wooper in Japanese. Upa, as you can see right here from Bullopedia. And Aquarno on Twitter has a pretty good uh, idea what it could be, right? So Riddler Koo had an old riddle about a water ground Pokemon that was gonna be getting a new regional form. And, you know, Wooper in Quagsire, you know, water ground Pokemon line, right? And maybe it's going to become a water steel type in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which could make sense, you know? It was one of the five water ground Pokemon that people were thinking, so, I think the Upa is on purpose. I don't think, why would they have the, the Upa in this image? I really do think that maybe Wooper will be getting a regional evolution or maybe just a regional form and it's gonna be completely its own line. That'll be really interesting to see. So we're gonna have to see what this does. I mean, this guy's also talking about Let's Go 2, which I just honestly don't think this is gonna be a thing, but we'll have to wait and see. But We'll have to see. Nintendo Direct is on uh, June 29th is rumored right now. So hopefully we do get a Nintendo Direct with some Pokemon information because I really want some official information soon. I love these riddles and leaks. However, I want them to be upfront. I just want to see new Pokemon. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon and video game content. Peace out and have a great one.